Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, brothers and sisters. I'm Adnan Rashid. I'm back with another History Bites. Today is the 27th fast of the month of Ramadan, and the date is the 28th of April 2022. And guess where I am? You can see the towers behind me. This is a very special place due to the history it possesses. This is Conway Castle in North Wales. This castle is almost nearly 750 years old. 750 years old. It was built in the 1280s by an English king called Edward I who died in 1307 uh, CE. And he was a very, very interesting character. So I will give you a very quick tour of the castle. You've seen the, the towers behind me, the four towers. The fourth one is on the other side and it's still standing, very strong, uh, magnificent structure, very imposing. And the purpose was to actually subdue the Welsh in this area because the Welsh were fighting against the British or the English rather, because Wales is also part of Britain. So uh, Britain consists of four countries, England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. So the Welsh in the 13th century were fighting against the English because Edward I was trying to subdue uh, this territory. Uh, of course, invasions had, had started before him, but he was uh, the first uh, king to completely conquer the territory of Wales, right? And when he occupied Wales, he built a number of castles in 1280s. To be precise, in 1284, he completed his conquest of Wales and as a result he built a number of castles for example this one this magnificent structure if you look around if you uh, start looking at the towers this is, these are the outer walls of the castle and inside the castle we will quickly go in there there is like a town it's like a city inside the castle the castle walls so let's uh, keep walking and keep talking so um, in 1280s Edward started to build castles to strengthen his um, his hold on the land here uh, and he built Conway Castle this one then he built another castle called Carnarvon Castle a very very important castle a very beautifully built castle uh, a very imposing structure again then there was another castle called Harlech Castle uh, then there was another castle which was incomplete called Bumeris Castle which is not very far from here so many castles were built by Edward the first so that he can actually strengthen his uh, his hold onto these lands so the history is far too long for me to discuss in detail uh, but Edward the first who built this uh, castle was a very interesting character uh, for a number of reasons one of the reasons is that he was uh, a crusading king he went for a crusade in the 1270s uh, as a young man he went for a crusade to the Middle East and he remained in Acre the city of Acre uh, he remained in the Middle East for nearly uh, one year and he was even attacked by a Muslim assassin allegedly uh, Sultan Babers the famous Memluk Sultan of Egypt sent an assassin to kill Edward I because he had brought uh, a large army with him, a lot of influence, a lot of power. So Edward I even dealt with the Mongols. He tried to get the Mongols on board to attack the Muslims while he himself was there uh, launching a crusade. And uh, he remained for a while. And when he was attacked, he was injured severely and he didn't fully recover. So he had to come back to England and after nearly a year a year in the Middle East when he came back he started to conquer lands within the British Isles right so he wanted to con conquer the entire British territory including Scotland and Wales so we are right now in Wales where he built these castles he even fought against the Scots we know about the famous movie that was made about it called the Braveheart. It was about William Wallace, a Scottish hero who fought against the English at the time. And uh, you can watch the movie, although it's not historically accurate fully, uh, but main events described in the movie are pretty accurate, historically speaking. So Edward was also known as Edward the Longshank because he was very tall. So 
uh, for that reason he was called Edward the Longshank. So now we are walking into the town. We have come across the outer walls and now we walked into the gate. You can see the gate behind me there. Uh, it is very medieval, still original. This is what it looked like 750 years ago uh, when it was built in 1280s. We're going to walk up to the Abbey. The Abbey is called Abba Conway. Abba Conway was an abbey, a monastery which was built here by monks. And before that, before the abbey was built in 1730, not 17, 1172, it was a quiet town. It was a quiet place. Actually, it was like a quiet, uh, quiet place, remote place. And these monks came. You can see the towers behind me there again. And we're going to show you now some history of the local uh, people. Now, this is the abbey. Most of it, which was built in 1172 originally, has gone. Only the gate, the main door remains. They keep walking with me. And some of it is actually from the 14th century, built by uh, Edward I and his successor, Edward II successors or his his people his of officials who were ruling the town uh, in that period so this is the abbey you see a lot of old graves there many many old graves with years written on them and we're gonna keep walking to the gate let's go the tower looks very old it is a church abbey is a church So there's a very short introduction of this abbey. I want to read uh, very quickly. Cistercian monks marked out the foundations for Abba Conwy Abbey in 1172, when this was just quiet farmland beside the Conway River. Uh, from 1186, the monks enjoyed nearly a century of simple common life based on a daily rhythm of prayer, work and study. Abba Conway became the leading monastic community of North Wales under the patronage of Llewellyn, uh, the great, Llewellyn the Great, who died and was buried here in 1240. The Abbey's famous library held laws and public records for the princes of Gwyneth. Gwyneth, Gwyneth was this uh, territory at that time. It was known as Gwyneth. Its abbots were key political figures in the power struggles with England. Then we will show you the very gate. You can see some of these old graves are absolutely, you know, if you come and look at this, this is Jane, wife of Richard Hughes of Conway. Okay, so she's buried here, and if I'm not mistaken, is that 11, uh, sorry, 1847? Yeah, that's uh, June 19, 1847, when she was buried here, aged 70. And you see a lot of tombstones there, giving away the details of people who are buried here. So the reason why I'm making this video, brothers and sisters, that you get some interest in our local history of Britain, and we need to know more about it. Absolutely, this is amazing history. And there is so much to know, there's so much to learn. And we need to get out of our homes and start visiting the country and see how much history there is uh, for us to see, okay? And how it is so connected to even our own history. This is the gate. You can see the gate. This is actually medieval. This very gate or this arch is from 1172. 1172. This very arch you can see is the oldest part of the monastery. There are tombs inside that go back to the Tudor period, 1500s, and later on 1690s, 1670s, and even 1700s. There are people buried inside, and there are tombstones on the walls, and even the arches from the 14th century, from the time of Edward I. There are arches inside. Very quickly, we're going to go inside, show you very quickly, so that you can see, and we're going to try to be as quiet as possible because it's a church. These arches, these arches, 
were built later on in the 14th century. Okay, they're from the 14th century. You can see the faces there carved uh, in the 14th century, 1300s, early 1300s, mid 1300s. So if you keep walking, there are some famous people buried here. Uh, they were interred into these places, and we're going to quickly move past them. This is the abbey in Conway, where many important people, many important figures, local important people are buried. So you can see two stones there. Okay, we have there, sacred to the memory of Robert Howard Esquire, who died the 5th of July, 1776, aged 83. So his grave is somewhere here underneath, right? Then we have, a tombstone from 1694. So 1694, yes. So it reads, Here lieth the body of Jane Williams, widow and relict of Holland Williams of Conway, Esquire, who was interred the 31st day of August 1694. Someone buried in this tomb was buried in 1677 okay so we have another tombstone here okay from 1703 okay so this place is filled with uh, tombs people buried here in different times uh, dating back to the 16th century 17th century 18th century and even the 19th century someone was buried in 1810 to the memory of Margaret Roberts, widow of Reverend Robert Roberts, okay? And she was buried on the 27th of August, 1810, aged 89 years old. So this is a medieval church. This church is medieval. It was built originally in 1172. Some original part remains to this day. And these arches you can see behind me are from the 14th century, 1300s built during the time of Edward I and his son Edward II. So this is part of the Conway Castle complex or the whole castle, uh, the settlement, and it continued as an abbey, as a church for a very long time. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the video. Do visit Conway in North Wales, which is about four hours drive from the city of London. If you happen to be in Britain, you have to come to North Wales. The landscape is absolutely amazing, it's beautiful, and the history is amazing. It's very, very rich. And before you travel, do read up on it. You will find a lot of fascinating details and subscribe to the channel for more content and support our work by following the links in the description. Assalamu alaikum.